So here's where our onions, green onions, are in a little pond of water up on my sun deck. And I have a hose that comes on once a day to make sure there's lots of water. And you can see that this system is working quite well. These are beans that were planted some time ago. Sweet peas. And over here we have spinach growing the same way. They like the humidity, the evaporation going on from the, uh, the deck. So having water around all the time is great. This in here is lettuce growing like that. So you can see the water is just maybe in a half an inch deep. It's working very well. And over here have a similar Thing going with parsley and some wildflowers. Great system. If you can keep the water steadily on, they'll do quite well. There's other ways I have found that were working great too. This, these are the same containers stacked one inside the other. Um, the bottom container has the water in it and the top container has a pipe leading down, a yogurt container zap strapped on. Maybe one day I'll show you how that works. But I'm quite pleased how this is working here. I'll take you down and show you how this system... We just fill these up with a hose and they last for a few days. Actually these, these are petunias, they last for a long time. I've hardly watered them much. But the greenhouse, the tomatoes, I have to water them every three days. So I'll, Go down and show you that. So I'm going to show you how to make a planter out of a vegetable oil container. You can start with a hole driller. You put in your drill press. This one is two inches outside diameter. And the little feet that are going to go on the bottom, they're a little bit wider. They're about two and three eighths diameter. So you drill a slightly smaller hole and then you put one of these little ABS rings and they have two little holes drilled through for zap straps. So, put that in your drill press or drill. Hang on tight. attach four feet. But first we have to melt some holes. I will show you that. So now we're going to melt four, two holes on either side. One thing you need to do is have good air circulation. I have an overhead fan here so you don't breathe any of the smell of these fumes. This is a little soldering um, torch that I've got here. It's electric and it will get very hot. You can see the smoke coming up. That you need to ventilate away because it can make you sick. So I'm going to turn the fan on. It's an old furnace fan. It works really well for this. Just attached to the outside of the house. So then you just melt away in an appropriate spot. there and we're dead opposite you do another one do all four and we're also going to melt some holes for air circulation roots like lots of air so we're going to add some holes for that and this is about a quarter inch tip that works really well I think they're about 38 bucks for these so now you've got all your holes drilled for the 
the little feet to be zap strapped on. I'll show you that a little later. But now you want at least a hole every half an inch or an inch. So you hold this up to your fan and carry on melting. It goes through pretty quick. Melting is better than drilling because you're basically welding the cut. It's a lot stronger than a drilled hole and uh, won't have to split or anything. You can actually see that the edges are nice and clean and kind of thick. We'll wash the oil out of this later. It's got cooking oil in it, vegetable oil. It shouldn't be a problem. But uh, you can see the, the number there that I'm going to put in. I'll put in about up the side about an inch or two. Put a whole row of them. You need lots of them for air. And this planter will get moss in the bottom so that moss breathes and lets lots of air in. And we'll show you that. But uh, you get the idea. The next thing we'll show you is zap strapping on the little feet. I'll carry on finishing the holes. So here's how you make the little feet. It's a, a stock lock. Uh, and I set it just at the right amount. This will keep the uh, planter up out of the water. You want some. You don't want it to be. Uh, you want just the feet in the water. So this holds the planter up. So you just start with a stock lock. Put a clamp, regular clamp, on there to hold it. And very easy. Just cut off four. Press and put four holes in there. Two holes. So now we're going to drill the holes. You just want two. About a 3 16 inch bit. Just hold it steady. Exactly opposite the old hole. Go another one. So we've melted the holes, there's about the right number for air, and we're ready now to put our feet on. There's the four matching, or the two matching holes that I've melted, and we're going to take this foot, put it on, using a, that's about a 7 inch zap strap. Black is better because it resists the uh, UV, um, so it won't break down in the sunlight. Okay, so you stick start here on this side, stick it through that way, make sure that little end is facing that way, and then feed it through one of the loops, like so. You can just see that. Now I'm going to pull it around. I'm just going to, I'm not going to tighten it right up going to start it because i got to do the other side. I take another one and do the same thing on this side. Get your zap strap facing the right way, push it through, and then through the pipe, ABS, two inch ABS pipe. So there you go. Now you can start to snug them up evenly. Pull them both the same with your, push with your thumbs. Pull Try and get them even. Two is enough to hold it. And just snug them down. And we'll cut those off. Now I'm going to do the other four. You can melt them off, but it's actually better to cut them with scissors. It's a little easier. So there's the four feet on. Now I'm just going to take some regular pliers and reach in, give them a little pull up tight, and cut that off like that. a little less stinky than melting them off. So there they are, just about. The next thing will be to cut the lid.
And then it's going to go and get some leeks or onions planted in it and be placed in Seymour Lake. I'll show you that at the end. So there we go, almost done, ready for the lid. I'll show you that. So, you can draw a line if you want. Not really necessary. Some of the plastic on these are a little, little light, little weak, so you can just kind of straighten them up a bit before you cut it. Figure out which side way you want it to sit. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it through this way and through across the top, and leave the back as a hinge so it will flip up. And you can turn it into a terrarium, little like a nice warm place for plants by pulling the lids down. You can hold the lid up with a stick. If you want later on, you can bend it right back. But it's handy to have a lid, so don't cut it right off. And I'm going to cut it just so it's around the edge, you know, so it's got a little bit of strength. So I've just started my cut with the X-Acto knife. I'm going to finish it with a pair of scissors. Just regular, these were hair scissors. Cut it round. this out with some soapy water. Good idea to use a bit of a, you can rinse it out ahead of time, that works really well too. Um, but uh, soapy water, warm soapy water or rag, 